Welcome to Pixetic.com's tutorial for brightness and contrast. This video shows you how to change brightness and contrast in existing documents. During scanning, we recommend using default settings for brightness and contrast in scan bar and to check enhanced contrast in the after scanning profile. In most cases, this will ensure high image quality and readability. If you need to enhance brightness and contrast on already scanned documents, you will find several possibilities for doing so in PixEdit. Just note, it is only possible to change these settings on pages scanned in grayscale or full color. PixEdit will disable use of brightness and contrast if current active page has been scanned in pure black and white. Let's first take a look at the function for automatic contrast enhancement in Image, Colors, Enhance Contrast. This function will make the darkest pixels maximum dark and the brightest pixels maximum bright with corresponding contrast enhancement for all medium bright pixels on the page. To overdo the contrast enhancement so both less dark and less bright pixels are forced to their corresponding maximum, you can specify a percentage of the pixels on the page to be clipped or forced to maximum dark and maximum bright. Notice this may cause very bright details to melt into the white background and dark details on a black background to merge. When you experiment with clipping, it is a good idea to check the preview option. Enhanced contrast can be executed on current page, a page range, and even on a selected area on the page. As you can see, the contrast enhancement makes this map easier to read. Let's undo the automatic contrast enhancement to bring the page back to its original state to show you manual adjustment of brightness and contrast. When activating the brightness and contrast tool, the tool style window will display two manual sliders. In the tool style window, a histogram will show the distribution above an intensity scale. Let's look closer at the histogram as this is a useful aid that comes in handy during adjustment. From the histogram, we can see most of the pixels on the page and, in this case, the background, are not white but gray or brown and are therefore represented by a histogram peak well to the left of maximum possible brightness. In almost all cases, this means the document can safely be increased in brightness without any loss of detail. We therefore increase the brightness until the histogram peaks and subsequently the background is closer to maximum brightness on the intensity scale. Since we made the dark lines brighter, we use the contrast slider to expand the histogram, making dark graphics darker and bright graphics even brighter. To apply the adjustment on multiple page, use the page range icon before finishing the adjustment. If you have a collection of documents in need of similar adjustments, simply record then replay a macro in Batch Wizard to quickly modify many documents. You may notice some remaining yellow spots and tints on the page. To remove those, use the color drop out function as shown in an earlier video. Let's undo the brightness and contrast adjustment again to take the page back to its original state in order to briefly show you something else. Even without adjustment, this example document is in quite good shape. However, in some cases you may need to enhance documents that are almost unreadable due to fading and age. In such cases, you will need to use this remarkable tool, DocWash. Drag out an area, using the mouse wheel to adjust the washing intensity, and then drag this area around the document. You can learn more about how to use DocWash in a later video here at Pixedit.com.